finally this day has come. It's been a long month of getting this room ready, but I am sitting in my new bedroom right now. I have been sharing my journey in this four-part series of an exciting master bedroom transformation before and after. And we have finally made it to the after. In the first week, you saw my inspiration board and the ideas I had for redecorating my master bedroom. In week two, you got to join in on all the shopping fun and helped me find new items to decorate my master bedroom. Week three was a sneak peek at the room as it was coming together. Today is the grand finale of the four weeks of the June Room of the Month Challenge. If you missed the other three videos of this four-part series, make sure to check those out. I will link them in the description box below so you can watch the whole process unfold. If you're new to Artsy Cupcake, welcome. I'm Maria and I'm a full-time graphic designer, but I love hopping onto YouTube every week where I share my inspiration with you so we can make life the most creative it can be. I share fashion lookbooks, home DIYs, delicious recipes, and a lot more. So if you like those types of things, please consider hitting that subscribe button because it really helps my channel out. This room of the month challenge is hosted by Heidi Sanbul. There are a few other YouTubers playing along, so I will link the playlist below so you can see their room transformations too. Let's remember back to the very beginning of this master bedroom transformation before and after series. My goal was to not spend too much money, yet make a really big impact to the overall look and feel of the room. I had a blank canvas to work with. We had basically moved in, set the furniture in place, and other than that, there wasn't much personalization or mood to the room. The room came with elegant touches built in, like the coffered ceilings, the curved wall of windows, and then there's some really high ceilings in there and some natural light. There's a lot of natural light that comes into the room. And since this is a new home that we recently purchased, the paint, the molding, and the carpet are already done to my taste. The furniture fit the room really well and it has nice details on it echoing classical Greek and Roman architecture. My inspiration board ended up basically being a bunch of restoration hardware photos I just really like the look that they have there with the classic clean lines, yet they are still elegant in a modern way. The neutral color palette appeals to me because that's how the rest of my home is already decorated and I just find neutral colors to be really soothing and relaxing to look at. The photos remind me of a high-end luxury hotel room and that's exactly how I wanted my bedroom to feel every night of the week. So let's take a look at all the details that brought this room together and then I will show you the comparison of the before and after of the whole room together. I felt that since the room has the architectural touches on the furniture and I wanted it to feel like a getaway in a luxury hotel, why not combine those ideas into the artwork? This series is a copy of some similar ones I've found on Restoration Hardware, and they were really expensive. I found some great bargains on the frames at Michael's and Home Goods, and I will link any of the items that I mention in the description box below, all the ones that I could find, just in case you see something that would work in your home. But I was really happy with these architectural images because they have a really classic elegance, which is what I was going for. And since I DIY'd these in the third week of this series, they came out exactly like I wanted for a fraction of the cost of the ones that I saw from Restoration Hardware. I did add some other decor items to the top of the armoire, which was so bare and boring. And I found the horse at Home Goods. I think it was around $39. They had a smaller version for $29, but I wanted to cover the picture a little bit to add some layers and dimension to this wall. You saw me buy this suitcase from Home Goods in week two of this series, 
I got it for around $30 and it does double as storage. I think this adds an extra touch to that getaway to a faraway place feel that we're going for. I have it here next to the lamp. So this little corner is pretty simple, but that's okay because we have a lot going on in the other parts of the room. White space is important in print and web design, but that white space concept can also translate well into three-dimensional projects just like this one. So when you're redecorating a room, always make sure to find balance of white space to decor items in your room. I had noticed a lot of the photos on my inspiration board had the dark gray curtains and although it felt like a bold move at the time going with dark gray against such a light colored wall, it really works. I was also trying to make the decision on the rods for the curtains because there were so many ways that we could do them on a wall of curved windows. I wondered, should I get a custom curved rod, but that would be really expensive. And then there was the thought to do just one panel on either side of the entire wall of curtains and just leave the center part without any curtains. But I thought that wouldn't make as much of an impact. So I went with individual rods and curtains for each individual window. I found the rods on Amazon and they are super cheap, but they feel really sturdy and have some nice details to go with the rest of the room. The curtains were also really low cost from Amazon, but they were a little bit lightweight and a little flowy, so I weighed them down at the bottom to give them a sturdier look. Next is the sitting area. There was a large leather chair on the other side of the bedroom, and it just looked really clunky. So I found this chair at Target and put a pillow on it that I already had. This side table and lamp I already had also. And then I had picked up that basket at Home Goods and I put some blankets in there to give it a cozy feel. The bedding was really worrying me about this project because I had ordered one from overstock.com but it never showed up. And I spent an hour trying to track it down and the shipping company had no idea where it was, they couldn't locate it. So I ordered this one on Amazon Prime and it showed up the next day, which was awesome. And it was actually cheaper than the one I had originally bought from overstock.com, so everything worked out. I played around with how the bed should be made to make it look like a luxury hotel room and I think I got it down pretty good. Bright, crisp white bedding is the standard for high-end hotels. So I copied that concept at a low price. I got this duvet set for only $64 and I have a lot of off-white grays and blacks. So I wanted the bed to add that pop of brightness to the room and I think it accomplishes that perfectly. The inspiration photos I was working from had mirrors behind the lamps on the nightstands on either side of the bed. I liked this idea because I thought it would reflect some of the light from the windows and also it would maybe make the room look a little bigger. Mirrors always tend to make the rooms look a little bit bigger. I think they accomplished that and remember these mirrors were ones that I had found at Walmart for only $13 each. I actually ended up having to paint them a little um, slightly darker gold because they were just looking a little bit too silver but it took like 10 minutes and then we hung them up and they look great after seeing them on the wall they did look a little plain still so my husband had the idea to add the ribbon and hook to the top and we tried it out and since these are just for show and aren't actually supporting the weight of the frame. It was super easy to just pop those little hooks on the wall and add the ribbon and it really dressed them up. So here it is, it's reveal time. Let's take a look at the room before.
And here is the after. I am so happy with how it came out. It pulls together everything that I loved on my inspiration board and it has a classic elegance and feels like a luxury hotel room. The color palette is soothing yet bright and crisp and I am definitely going to feel like I'm on vacation every time I enter this room. If you liked this series, let me know in the comment section below because if I get enough good feedback, I might take you on another journey with one of my other rooms. I'm trying to decide what room to tackle next. If you're new to my channel, I'm really active in the comments section, so make sure to subscribe so we can keep in touch and get to know each other in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.